What can I say? I'm going to get started a little early. It's 1.13 p.m. Actually, I'm not early at all. I'm right on time. 1.13 p.m. in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to read directly. Additionally, one of the reports that Krauss had stolen on April 21st, 2017, in addition to the email that Krauss sent to members of the State Bar of Texas in early 2017, discusses how case information from a legal proceeding constitutes an alternative currency, much as demographic and other information on people involved in the health and human services system constitutes an alternative currency. Krauss contends that Hobo's actions surrounding Krauss's attempts to seek free legal service constitute a conspiracy to engage assets from Vincent and Elkins in the response to the petition by having Krauss identify or potentially misidentify them as an attorney for a potential respondent or name them as a respondent by framing them for an act of wire fraud involving Krauss. Additionally, were Vincent and Elkins to potentially be engaged as a respondent or counsel for a respondent, then Vincent and Elkins would then have access to file and case information composed by Krauss, including information involving the potentially novel application of a federal law involving capital crimes and associations that other attorneys may not include in their briefs or cases due to an awareness of the specific economic variables associated with the inclusion of particular case information. They would also have access to legal strategies that may not be developed by someone with more standardized legal training. Krauss does not have the same capital considerations as other attorneys, and hence would have a different economy. Those masquerading as if they represent the interests of the people of the United States of America and know who they are have gone too far. I didn't know until right now. April 21st, 2017 would have been one month before a 10-year nuclear deadline for the Tennessee Valley Authority. That is a very considerable and comprehensive matter to attend to. It makes sense. Perfect sense. How long did you intend to keep me a hobo? All the way since the implementation of the Tennessee Valley Authority? You know what else happened during the time of the Tennessee Valley Authority? There were accusations. There were congressional hearings. Cases went all the way to the Supreme Court. People were executed for capital crimes. And you stand accused of those crimes. Nuclear sabotage in order to aid and abet preferential treatment through membership in a communist organization? Well, that's just about the most nefarious charge I ever heard of. Is that your economy? conspiracy to commit I believe it is it's been a long time coming it's one of those things where you levy accusations on somebody make an example out of them run them through a little rodeo in order to get yourself some insurance coverage how long did that policy you lawyers set up on the House on American Activities Committee while you were trying to accuse the head of the Federal Bureau of Investigation of being a cross-dresser. How long did that last? It's canceled today. You understand? You know, Vincent and Elkins also represented itself as if it were capable and already in place to represent the interests of the Iraqi Gas and Oil Ministry. Wasn't there somebody who was a communist who ended up getting deposed ostensibly because they threatened the American way of life? It's a very long time. Very long time. Almost as long as, however, long you thought you were going to ensure yourself against taking responsibility for your role in connection with outstanding grievances since the time of the onset of the Tennessee Valley Authority. We're going to have quite a road ahead of us and we don't have much time for dallying. It's one 
8.18 p.m.